What's up guys, Austin Newman here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about quick shortcut keys that you can use right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. These are some keys that once I learned it made my editing much faster. I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of those tips that I learned. Before we dive in, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one and let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so we're inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. I'm on my laptop so the computer screen may look a little bit smaller than you're used to in most of my tutorials, but all the shortcuts are the same. So first off, if you want to check out some of your shortcuts, go up here to Premiere Pro CC, hit keyboard shortcuts, and this is an overview of everything. I'm not going to be covering every single shortcut out there just because I don't use every shortcut, but I'm going to show you the ones that really sped up my process, and these are really key ones, and I think they're going to be very beneficial to you no matter what you're editing. So let's go ahead and dive in. I've got this clip. This is my friend Lua. Let's go ahead and start cutting this footage up. So I'm here in my preview window. I've got my clip selected. I'm gonna play through really quick. And let's say that I wanted to start the import onto my timeline from here. I would hit I on the keyboard and that'll mark my end point. Let's play through a little bit more. And maybe let's say I grab this point right here, hit O on the keyboard to go out. Then we're gonna hit period on the keyboard and that'll drop it right into the timeline simple as that now we're done we don't have to do anything so there's two ways to do this I could have dragged in from the preview window just the video or audio but let's say I did the keyboard shortcut and I already have this down here I don't want the audio instead of having to unlink the two I would just simply hit alt on the keyboard and click and that selects just the audio and I delete it's as simple as that so everyone knows that if you want to cut this footage up you would hit C on the keyboard bring up the razor tool make your cut I'm going to go ahead and command Z to go backwards. I would hit V on the keyboard to bring back up my selection tool and I would use plus on the keyboard to zoom in and minus on the keyboard to zoom out. And while we're covering the basics, if you want to hit in between each clip, let's say I go down, that'll go to the next clip intersection. If I want to go up, that'll take me back to the next clip intersection. If I hit L on the keyboard, it's going to play through normally. Hit K, that'll stop it and hit J and it'll go back in normal speed. That is another one that you need to get used to using a lot because there's a lot of times you can't just scrub through and find it. It's a lot easier to just hit J and play backwards in normal speed. Now let's say that I wanted to bring in another clip and really start some editing. Let's hit down on the keyboard to go into the next clip hit period on the keyboard to drag in the last in and out points that I had. So now I've got these two clips on my timeline and let's say that I like everything up until this point. I want to clip this out. And this is how all the vloggers edit to make their cuts super quick. I'd hit W on the keyboard. It'll ripple delete it and that area is completely gone. I don't have to worry about bridging that gap at all. Now let's say that I want to go this way and I want to delete everything here and have these two mesh together. I'd hit Q on the keyboard. So the two big ones are Q and W that you'd want to use to cut between frames. I mean, you can cut all day doing that, just kind of shortening this up until you really got it at the length you wanted. But that's a really quick one that a lot of people use to edit super fast. Now let's say that we had a few more back here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit period and drop a few different clips. So now we have a few clips behind this front one and let's go ahead and select them all and we would drag them back and then we'd add a clip in between if we wanted to. That takes a while. You're gonna have to make sure you select everything. If you have a timeline of 30 minutes or if you're editing a feature film, that's just way too much to do and stress about not aligning correctly. The better way to do it, let's go ahead and command Z and go back. The better way to do it is hit a on the keyboard that brings your select all and that'll take everything to the right of the frame and you can just drag it back and you know for sure that everything and your timing is just right you don't have to worry about that another thing that's kind of new to the new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 let's hit V on the keyboard to just bring up our selector tool now let's say I wanted to add some text right about here I'd hit T on the keyboard I go into my panel here and type in text. Simple as that. Now we have text on the screen. Obviously, we would change this up a little bit, make it look a little bit better. But that's how you simply add text rather than going down here and selecting that. These have sped up my editing process 100 times over, and I hope that they help you too. But if you do have some more you want to explore, maybe some other stuff you're editing, maybe something that would help you in a different way, go ahead and go up here to Keyboard Shortcuts and check out some of these other shortcuts that Adobe Premiere has already. You can even change stuff and drag it simply by dragging like this 
this and adding it to a certain button. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.